Welcome back. Today we're going to look at small bites of your elephant this semester. You have a lot of assignments, but getting everything done on time can be easy if you take a little time at the beginning to plan for it. So, day one of class, you show up and your professors hand you a syllabus, or more accurately, show you how to access it in Canvas. What are you going to do next? That depends on how you like to look at information. Even if you're taking an in-person class, a lot of your work is going to be done in Canvas, including the syllabus. If you're taking an online class or the professor is using Canvas for all the assignments, you're going to want to go to the modules. You may also have in-person classes where the bulk of work is assigned in class. More likely, you have some combination. No matter what form your classes take, you need to gather all your syllabi. For our first foray into organization, it may be best to print them. You only need the assignments parts. You can print these at the library. It is also helpful to have a calendar you can enter assignments on. This image is what the assignments will look like in a Canvas syllabus. This is only part of what you will need. In-person classes with paper syllabi will be different because it will list everything associated with an assignment. The first thing you need to do is realize that an assignment is not just the thing you will turn in. It is all that goes into creating a quality product. This is your reading, research, writing, even the formatting of the product. If your course material is in Canvas, you will find all the details you need in the modules. The little icons on the left tell you what it is. You will find readings, videos, discussions, or instructions before you ever get to the assignment. All that preliminary stuff is what gets you to the successful completion. You need to include it in your plan. This is an important distinction because on the next slide, you're going to list everything you have to do. Let's get to it. Start with one class. Make a calendar of all assignments, including the readings, listed by due date. Add the next class and the next. Be sure you always write the class name or number with a task. When a bunch of stuff is due on the same day, you need to know what goes together. Excel is a great program for making lists like this because you can insert lines. In this image, you can see the date is listed first, then the class, then a short identifying title. These classes were entirely online, so it was easy to download everything. This is a great technique, even when you have mixed classes. You're going to have to create some kind of file for the submission, so just make a blank Word document to insert in on the matching date. Once everything is listed, all the readings, all the videos, all the products you have to turn in, now it's time to evaluate. How are you going to get from this list to getting it all done on time. Now, before we look at the assignments, we're going to fill in your calendar with life. Take into account obligations you cannot avoid. If you have to work, block out your regularly scheduled hours. If you have athletics, block out practice and game times. If you don't have athletics, set aside time to exercise. Block out the actual times you need to be in class. Don't be overly ambitious by scheduling every waking hour. You know you're going to do laundry, hang out, date, and many other personal things. Schedule them. Even if it is as simple as blocking off every Saturday afternoon and evening and labeling it stuff. Block out the hours you will need to sleep. This is critical. Sleep is the most important thing you can do for yourself. You will simply perform better with enough sleep. When the alarm goes off, get up. You have things to do. All the time that is left is what you have available to get your schoolwork done. This is something of a two-step process with specific and general scheduling. We're going to look at the general first. You know you have assignments due in every class every week, even if it's just reading. Plan to do the reading and assignments for that class and work on only one class at a time. This focus will help you accomplish more. 
Reading the assigned chapters will probably take three or four hours per week per class. If you do the reading the same day you do the assignment, you will be able to focus the reading and get more from it. If you can do the assignments immediately before or after class, the information will be fresh and you will accomplish more. Consider this sample schedule. Monday and Wednesday, you have History and English. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you have Algebra and Biology. So set up Monday and do English. On Tuesday, do all your Algebra homework. On Wednesday, do your History. And on Thursday, do your Biology. You can schedule in longer assignments and projects for Friday, Saturday, and or Sunday. Now let's look at dates with multiple items due. Some of these will be for the same class, like readings that go with a discussion board. Others will be for different classes. If all your classes have a written assignment due on the 12th, you cannot do them all on the 11th. You need to evaluate the type of assignment and how long it's going to take you to get it done, then schedule some of the work for different days. Yes, you can create your own deadlines. Read the instructions for the assignments, thinking about how long it will take you to do it. Look closely at big projects like that research paper that's going to take many days and trips to the library to accomplish. Break it down into bite-sized pieces. Add your self-imposed deadlines to the calendar. Organizing everything may be the hardest thing you do all semester, but now you're done. Hooray! If figuring it all out is challenging, reach out to the library and we will be happy to help.